I was asked an interesting question. Does a Christian never sin? Well, let's look at a couple of scripture verses. James 1.8 says, He chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of all that he created. Also, 1 Peter 1.23 says, For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. So that tells me that when we accept Christ as our Savior, that we are kind of imprinted with God's DNA. So we start living more like God. We start taking on God's heartbeat. Our God's heartbeat becomes more like ours. Now, does that mean we stop sinning? Well, hmm. Don't we still live in this sinful body? Don't we still have free will to do what we want and things like that? I think we do. So here's the problem. We get angry at things. You know, things go, don't go our way. And, you know, troubles happen in our lives, don't they? And we get things just don't go our way. And, and, you know, you get mad and, you know, foul words fly and you think angry thoughts and all kinds of things happen. And what, what happens to that godly character kind of gets pushed to the side, doesn't it? Well, the closer you get to God the less you react that way. Well, why do I say that? Well, the epistle of 1 John 3, 9, I love the way the New Living Translation puts it. It says, those who have been born into God's family do not make a practice of sinning. I like the way that says it. They do not make a practice of sinning because God's life is in them. So they can't keep sinning because they're a child of God. Oh, now we're getting somewhere, doesn't it? Look at that. The closer you get to God, the less you want to sin. There you have the answer. That doesn't mean you, because you're in this sinful body, you don't sin. The closer you get to God, the less you sin. So the answer to the question of does a Christian never sin? Well, yes, we do because we're in a sinful body. We kind of commit sins every day of sins. of we, we don't do certain things, sins of omission, sins of commission, which is we commit sins. And, you know, things we should have done and things left undone and all that kind of stuff. We do those things. So the, we need to get the closer you get to God, the less you do sin. So how do you get closer to God? Read his word. Pray more. Get closer to God. The closer you get to God, the less you're going to want to sin. So my idea is for you today... Get closer to God. Get in his word. Pray. You're not going to lose that time. You're going to enjoy every moment of it. Amen.